News 8 at 5 starts now. Indiana in desperate need of quality child care. A new study released today says many Hoosier parents across the state just don't have access to the need for their children. Yeah, that study found the problem is so bad. In fact, our state takes a billion dollar hit every year because of it. News 8 State House Bureau Chief David Williams joins us to break down the numbers and really the reasons why. Well, that study is right here in this report. It's quite detailed, more than 35 pages of information. It was paid for by the nonprofit Early Learning Indiana and conducted by Indiana University's Public Policy Institute. Basically, this report details how the lack of child care centers hurt businesses' bottom lines. <laughs> Kendra Harper raises her six-year-old daughter as a single mother. You know, it's just a lot of work and making sure that she has the best, so it can be hard at times, but... The hardest time, probably a few years ago, money was tight and it was really hard to find good child care. Harper's parents watched her daughter while she worked on her own education. The child care situation got so tight... Probably didn't even apply for service because where am I going to see my child while I go do it, so. Her story, unfortunately, isn't unique. Early Learning Indiana's 16-month study found Indiana loses about $1.1 billion a year because of reduced consumer spending, less income, and job losses. All effects of a lack of child care. The study states it's a $1.8 billion hit to Hoosier businesses yearly. The study estimates working parents miss 13 days of work a year because of child care issues. Parents have to get called away or sometimes even leave their employment to, because of their child care disruptions. Uh, businesses have to compensate that, for that through overtime pay by um, paying sometimes um, replacement workers. Why? The study states there aren't enough quality child care centers in general, and the ones parents can find are tough to pay for. Lawmakers are talking solutions. But if we were to go, as most states have done now, and provide pre-K as part of your K-12 education system, so you create a pre-K-12 education system, then all children will have access to that high-quality education at four years old. I think you need to walk before you can run. Um, several states have been expanded on statewide overnight, and the quality has not been where it should be, so they haven't had the results that I think all of us want to have. So I think you've got to be judicious about kind of gradually growing it. So another solution Weber recommends is businesses working together to bring health care, excuse me, child care to their neighborhood. She says she sees that happening from time to time. She also talked about states giving individual tax credits or social innovation bonds. She says other states across the country are trying things like that, and that's allowing states to be able to step in and help. I'm David Williams, Wish TV, News 8.